Optics, biotechnology and microelectronics are currently strategic application fields where large volume microfabrication technologies present a strategic interest to gain technological and economic benefit for Europe. The injection molding process has been shown as one of the most precise, flexible and cost efficient technologies for part replication in large production volumes. The current technologies applied to the micro scale by most manufacturers of injection machines are based on the same concepts of process and tooling used for the injection of bigger parts. This fact can explain the limitations of the current approach in terms of dosage precision, process accuracy and repetitiveness. In this context, Soloplast represents a completely revolutionary concept of plastification and moulding process of micro and mini parts based on the use of ultrasound. Ultrasound has been largely applied with diverse purposes in the field of plastics. Welding of plastic components, installed on the machine nozzle to enhance melt flow. Ultrasound based ejection systems implemented in the mould and other applications. The innovative factor of ultrasound use in Sonoplast is that ultrasound became feasible when applied to the melting of reduced volumes of thermoplastics. No commercial application of this use is available in the market at present. Our experience showed that we can fill very small cavities when we melt plastic with a sonotrot that gives, at the same time, heat and pressure to the plastic. And the point is that this takes only a few seconds and almost without need of pressure. The elimination of the traditional plastification unit and the use of the ultrasound technology gives an important cost advantage in terms of electrical power consumption. In addition, the reduction of the screw volume presents an important cost advantage for raw material. With the ultrasound molding machine, the heating takes just a few tenths of a second before the molding. Whereas in the standard machine, the plastic receives the heat inside the plastification cylinder for a long period of time with the risk of plastic degradation. The objective of the Sonoplast project is the development and construction of the first ultrasound molding machine for production of plastic parts in the micro and mini scale size. The starting point was the determination of main process variables and their impact on the plastic mail behavior. In this sense, we have figured out the optimum shape and size of the pellets. We have found two main differences compared to the conventional molds, the design of the smaller runners and the ability to replicate very fine details. The process control strategies are still under testing. The objective is to produce a machine easy to use and to warranty the process reliability. The Sonoplast idea is patent protected. The machine is developed by a group of companies and technological research centers with expertise and experience in the development of injection molding machines like Matteo and Sole. One of the most important things is that this project gives us the opportunity to access a new and emergent technology like is microinjections in plastic technology. Such as Sidrat in the area of ultrasound, in the area of mold making like Heidelmeier. The system from Sonoplast is a very good uh, alternative for injection molding for the mold makers. And molders specialized in challenging applications like pro molding. Pro molding is always in niche markets in uh, injection molding, and we always try to be at the front end of technology, and that's why we are in this project. Plastia collaborates with the development of the machine control. Participating in the Sonoplast project has been a great opportunity for Plastia to consolidate our expertise as a decision support systems provider. And Ivan Franhofer, contributing with resources in the area of materials. The group is completed with ASCAM, skilled in plastic moulding processes. Special acknowledgement is deserved for the collaboration of Mechasonic. At present, the development of the prototype based on the preliminary approach has been achieved. Based on the results and conclusion achieved from testing with the first prototype, a set of technical improvements to the preliminary design will be provided. The technological achievements, combined with the conclusions on the market needs at this moment of the project, will drive and tune the target product. Then, a fully functional machine, able to work in industrial conditions, fulfilling the part quality requirements, will be produced and commercialized.